Hey everyone, and welcome to another Top 10 Scratch Games video. Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Instead of just doing Top 10 random cool Scratch Games, I'm going to be showing a specific genre of Scratch Games. Today, I'll be showing Top 10 Scratch 3D Games. I have some insanely mind-blowing projects today, so let's get right into it. Hang up, you know the drill. If you're excited for today's episode, make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing. Leave a comment down below. I would really appreciate it and it would help me out a ton. Just like my other top 10 scratch games, these are in no particular order, and they will all be linked in the description down below. The first one on our list, we have 3D Planet Maker by Dad of Mr. Log. And this game, I honestly couldn't believe that it's made in scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and full screen it, and there's a nice text box that kind of explains what to do and the instructions and all that stuff. And as soon as we start, look at this, it's like Planet Earth, but in 3D. I'm going to go ahead and hit space so that way I can rotate it. Look at this. Here's what's even more mind-blowing. If I click edit, it here it basically makes a unwrapped uv of earth and it's just like a solid image and when we rotate to different pieces on the map it'll move the planet down there and we can color and edit this which is insane so i'm just gonna make a awesome new continent there's even like undo buttons and stuff. Like look at that. I just undid that and I can redo it. And there's just so many cool functionality things and stuff. Let's make a bridge. And now if we go ahead and click back, it'll actually make our planet in 3D, which is so insane. Like there's the bridge to Antarctica with that smiley face. And there's also lots of settings like the hardness of the brush, the opacity of the brush, the pin size. So you can just make it big. What a beautiful planet. And after that, we have a game called Crystal Seeker 3D Platformer. I, I don't even know how to say that. So I'm really sorry to the person who made that but it's by this person and this game blew my little pea brain and once this fades in it's really cool in the beginning because it's like oh wow that's actually 3d but then when you click new game it gives you some instructions on who's good who's bad and once it loads you'll see why this is one of the coolest game on scratch because it's a full third person controller like i can use wasd to move and then arrow keys to move the camera and then space to drum and obviously if you were to load this up on turbo warp or any of those type of compiler thingies it will make it run even faster you can see that you can jump from platform to platform and collect coins but it's a full third person game and it's insane because that's not something you see very much on scratch i can like jump on this and really quick i loaded up on turbo warp just to show you how cool it looks on turbo warp because it actually looks so smooth and it runs really nicely there's tons of enemies to squish there's even like signs that kind of tell you what you need to do he will even pause it and there's like moving platforms and coins and there's so much cool stuff to explore and do in this game it's honestly pretty mind-blowing that it's made inside of Scratch. If you have a slower PC, you're probably going to want to run it on Turbo Warp because the pin is quite resource intensive when you have it doing this much stuff. Oh my gosh, it's a giant coin. Is that a big coin? I can't tell. Yeah, it says five on it. Whoa, it's a tree. It even has some billboarding. Look at that. So yeah, overall, this game is absolutely insane and I can't believe it's made on Scratch and you should really check it out. Number three on our list is a game called 3D Survival Game by Hobson TV and this game is really cool too because as you can see it's like an isometric game almost like don't starve where you can move around and you can even like chop down trees and get it in your inventory there's a whole entire inventory system with crafting so like i just crafted a wall now i can put down that wall also it actually has some really nice art too it's pixel arty looking i really like it there's also like a compass and the time of day i'm guessing and rocks you can mine most everything in this game leaves rocks trees and you can use them to craft stuff like look at that now i can make a stone sword and probably a stone pickaxe now i can use my sword and my pickaxe to go mine stuff better look at that i can one hit rocks now and it even has a full day night cycle because you can see it's turning night next up on our list is a game called 3d parkour by context and this game is super super cool it is all pin as you can see right here and it is a first person parkour game so i'm gonna go ahead and just do level one here and you can see that right off the bat it's super smooth compared to some of the other games that's most likely because of the wireframe style art it has so it's a lot more simple but it runs really smooth so i can use my arrow keys to kind of look around and i can use wsd and space to move around and and then once we click not click once we go to the green flag we win that level and that looks like a really far jump okay actually that was easy and then here's some stairs and there's full on collision and all the good stuff that you'd expect from a platformer but yeah you can see that this is actually a really fun game the art style is a lot more simple than the other ones but the gameplay itself is extremely fun because who doesn't love a good parkour game it's really hard to talk and play at the same time i wonder if i can skip all that and just jump already so we have a game called three 
3D train generator by Awesome Llama. And this game is kind of like the planet one, but with train. But as you can see here, if I go ahead and start, here we go. Look at this. It's a full on like pearl and noise world generation. And this is just the basic stuff. If I go to source train, these are all the different settings I can do. So if I click generate, it'll generate a brand new thingy. I can even change like the resolution, like maybe I'll make it max. Whoa, look at that. Now it's a giant map. And now I can go to like erosion and there's all these different settings. Texturing is my favorite. Now if I start this, there we go. There's water and stuff. But not only that, you can change the colors of all these. Maybe I want the water to be toxic green. That's a natural water color, right? I think the grass should be blue. Ah, what a beautiful, beautiful looking thing. And not only that, you can actually export it to different things. I'm not exactly sure how this works, but it looks like you can export it as like different object files and stuff to load in maybe like Blender or something. I'm not even sure, but it looks really fancy and cool. You can also change the perspective. Like here's 2D mode and you can even zoom in and out. I forgot to show that with the scroll wheel. But yeah, this game is super cool and it has a lot of fun stuff to play around with. Number six on our list, we have Flip 3D and it is a really cool 3D puzzle game. I can use WASD to flip this box thing around and my my goal is not to get any of my squares into the void and reach the purple thing. There we go. I completed that level and now there's red. So if I touch that red, it's going to be game over. So I want to go around it. I made it around that. That wasn't too hard. And now this one, hmm, I'm going to go like this. Now rotate here. Okay. I can't go to the right because I'll be into the void and I can't do that either. Hold up. How do I do this? Maybe I have to go... Oh, here we go. I did it. Okay, so now what is this? So maybe I go around here, rotate there, rotate there. Wait, no. Okay, well, that wasn't right. Maybe if I just go over here, that's not going to work. What about this maybe? Yep, that's going to work. And what is this? This looks like a absolute spaghetti map. Well, that didn't work. Maybe if I do this and just roll my way to victory. Nope, that's not going to work either. Okay, anyway, next on our list, we have another game by Dad of Mr. Log called 3D Train Engine. This game is really cool because because it's a generated world and stuff. It also has like trees and billboarded object and also a mini map. As you can see here, I can actually like use my mouse to move, which is really nice. And there's even like water, there's fog in the distance, there's a nice skybox, and there's a mini map up here. But let's just go in this direction, sure. And you can actually like see it's generating the world as we move, which is really, really cool. Here's a tree. Hello, tree. Now water's jiggling. And if you hover up to the top, there's a ton of options you can do. Like if I go ahead and take the view distance down to 10 you can see that now it's like super short render distance or i can crank it up to 30 and it gets a little bit less smooth but we can see really far and look at that that's cool number eight on our list we have top down 3d city experiment by griff patch and this game is really cool because it's a full 3d city with like car ai and stuff you can see the buildings are like 3d and there's like hey you hit me get back here oh no not in there no the controls take a second to get used to no that's not the way no Oh, okay, whatever. Oh, there's that car that it just disappeared red car don't you do it number nine on the list we have star hero 3d endeavor by andy fish and it is a super cool game as you can see here there's like this nice main menu i can click play and it's a 3d kind of almost asteroid game and we have to dodge these 3d rocks that actually are flying towards us and we are in this cool 3d ship and it keeps track of our integrity our distance and all that stuff and when we hit it it kind of turns red this game is i think it's an infinite game so the there's really no end, so it's kind of just like, how far can you make it? Yeah, this is a super cool game. And last but not least, we have a really, really cool game. It's called 3D Zoom Zoom Plane Thingy by Rough Weasel. And as you can see here, you're this like bomber looking airplane that is really cool. And you're flying through a bunch of clouds and stuff. So yeah, this project is a really nice parallax kind of project. And it's pretty impressive. So make sure you go check it out. Mr. Planet says to subscribe. But that doesn't quite fit. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a lot of fun to make and I hope you had fun watching it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing. But anyway, this has been Owen and I am out.